Hi my family and welcome to another of my videos. I feel like I'm going to interview someone because I sit here not in the center and I do have some space here but it's because today I'm going to share with you my wish list for 2020 and I'm so excited. I really want these products and I think I'm going to buy them to the end of the year. My goal is to own all of these products till the December 2020. So I hope I get the chance to own all of these products. Some of them are new, some of them are not new, but, it's not, but all of them are something I want to have in my collection. So if you're interested to see and hear what I have on my wish list, then please keep on watching. Why do I share with you my wish list? Uh, the main reason, reason is to show you guys what I really want, what products I am excited about and also very curious about. The other reason is because me and my best friend, I had to call her my best friend because she really is, she's been here for me through happy, happy moments, sad moments, bad moments, good moments. She's always been there for me and supporting me through my tough time now in the beginning of this year. Love her, love her so, so much. It's Valerie here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. Me and her, we do a box swap two times a year. And soon it's going to be another box swap. I can't wait for that box to arrive to me. Still haven't arrived when I filmed this video and I'm very curious to see what's, what she has for me. Now, we did share our wish lists um, in December, I think, and uh, last year, December. And we did got some stuff from our wish list to each other. So she got some stuff from my wish list. I got some stuff from her wish list. Some other products we thought that we are going to like. So we did include it in a box swap. So you need to be on my channel. If you already haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you see me unbox that box. I'm kind of very curious to open it and to receive it. It's like a Christmas uh, three times a year. So we kind of decided that we are going to have two box swaps every year, one in March when it's her birthday and one in September when it's my birthday. So I'm so excited about that. I'm going to show you what products I have on my wish list. I have my wish list here so I can read and I'm going to show you the pictures. The pictures are from Instagram and some of them from the website. So let's start. The first one is Huda Beauty Mercury Retro retrograded retrograde palette can't pronounce that word that's all this palette now when it first came out uh, it really reminded me of the neutral one and some i need to be honest the neutral palette and this palette look similar because the undertones are pink everything is more in at uh, that uh, more goes th to the pink side but I've been seeing looks, makeup looks, and people using that palette and loving. So, of course, I want it in my collection. So, I would really like that palette. Really like that palette. The second one is Colourpop So Jaded Palette. Oh, my God. Kathleen Light and Colourpop Palette. That one is so stunning. The problem why I didn't buy it before is because it costs a lot to ship to Sweden and also pay for taxes. That's the only reason. Uh, but I, if I don't get it... In a box swap or somewhere else i will definitely buy it i hope it will be available to buy because i really like that palette it looks stunning i just want that palette in my collection and i love color pops eyeshadows they have nice pigmentation they're easy to blend to work with and i love caitlin light and i just want that palette it speaks to me in so many ways when i see the colors it inspires me to create makeup looks so I really, really want that palette. The one palette, the palette that I have on my eyes today is the Morphe, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I'll be playing with, with it a lot. And this is my maybe seventh makeup look that I created with it. And I like it more and more. So that's what I have. But Colourpop So Jaded Palette is on my wish list. The third product is Elf Puffy Eye Primer in Cream. Now, I do, I did have this e.l.f. Poreless Puffy Primer on my wish list yet last year and Valerie got it for me. I was so happy to receive it. Now, I know I didn't talk about it 
a lot on my channel, but I really, really like this this uh, product. Now I know they released it, uh, released others, but this one is something that I like. Uh, poreless, minimize my pores. That is what I want. Now I like that primer, but they also released eye primers. I really want that Elf Puffy eyeshadow primer in cream because that shade speaks to me, so I want it. Uh, and fourth product that I want is also Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I want that concealer. Now that concealer just arrived to Sweden. And I really, really want to get it, but I won't until I open my box from Valerie because I don't know what she's going to get me. There is something from my wish list. I don't know which product it is. Maybe there is one from my wish list. Maybe there's two products from my wish list. I don't know. I'm kind of very curious. So I keep my hands from this wish list and I did kind of cheat and bought a couple of products that are maybe not supposed to buy, like eyeshadow palettes, but they were released after she sent me the package. So I know she definitely won't get them to, for me. So yeah, uh, Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I want to try that one. Then the fifth product I have here on my wish list is Morphe Glam, Glam Bronzer in Icon. Now that was on uh, released, I think for a year ago, maybe even more. Um, people really like that. And that shade icon looks so beautiful on, on other people. And I really want that. It's always out of stock when I want to order it. And unfortunately I didn't have a chance to get my hands on it, but I really want that. Number, I have 23 products on this wish list, So let's go fast because we can sit here forever. This bronzer looks beautiful. I want it. Number six is Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Dolly, Dolly, especially Dolly. Now I've seen them here on, in Kicks, so they are available here. They're expensive, but I really want them. They are expensive blushes, but Dolly is the one that really spoke to me. That is a, a color I really, really want in my collection. I don't own any Buxom Wanderlust primers at all. I think I own one product from Buxom and that's a lip gloss that I loved. I don't know why I didn't try other products, but uh, that blush I really want. It's stunning. Look at it. It's stunning. I want that. And uh, number seven, Glam Glow Super Mattifying Six Acid Clarifying Primer. Glam Glow is a brand that I enjoy and really like their products. And I'm really, really curious to try this super mattifying primer is because I have very oily T-zone and when it's hot outside it gets even worse. So everything that's mattifying, poor feeling, poor feeling, it's very good for me. I mean, I really like it. It does sometimes look, my face does look sometimes dry until my natural oils come through. Uh, but I don't care. I don't like, I like healthy glow like I have right now. But my face gets very oily and it doesn't look pretty. So I really want to try this primer. Patrick Ta Gloss, she's an influencer. That's a gloss that I heard many YouTubers really, really like and I want to try it. It's available on Cult Beauty. If I don't get it in my box, well, I'll definitely buy it because I want that gloss. And for two years ago, I wasn't a gloss girl, but then I started start using the bare minerals glosses love them love them love them so i'm a gloss girl now wasn't there before but i am now and one of my favorites right now is one of the boxes but also this um dust of dust of colors those of colors and uh, over the top is one that i really like that i have on my lips today and that is one that I bought because the Raw Christie Beauty was raving about it. So I needed to get it. Back to this Patrick Tar gloss. It looks beautiful. I'm interested. I want it. Uh, then we have Brio Gio Be Well Clan deodorant, deodorant Tea Tree and Eucalyptus. Now, this is not available in Sweden, unfortunately. So I hope it will be till the end of the year so I can get it. I'm into uh, clean deodorants and natural deodorants. I find some that really work for me. And 
but I'm always after trying other products. I'm always after experimenting and I get bored of using same same product all the time, even if I really, really like it. Like I really love my butter bronzer and I also love, love the Hourglass bronzer, but I get bored using the same product over and over again. I need to get to try more. I mean, that's how I work. I like experimenting. I love trying products. And I want to try this deodorant. 10. Urban Decay Brow Blade in Brunette Betty. I do like my eyebrows, but I do need to fill them in. And this product looks very interesting. And I'm kind of curious, especially I think Brunette Betty will look nice on me. And will be a good match. Now, my hair is a little bit darker because I just colored it. But I think after washing it a couple of times, uh, it will fade a little bit more. So I think that color will be look pretty good on me. Then we have 11, Charlotte Timberley Magic Cream. There is uh, on Cool Beauty the smallest size of that cream, and I want to try it. I really want to try it. Now, I heard people loving it, and I heard people trying it and don't see any anything special, but I want to try it. I'm curious. I won't get the big one because it's too expensive and I don't want to waste my money. I will buy a small one. If I like it, I will buy a big one. Just like I did with the, uh, the primer. Where is it? Like with our glass primer. Now, this one is very expensive. I bought a smaller size, loved it, and bought Jumbo. This one, I can't live without. It's my holy grail. I love this primer. Uh, so th that is exactly the same thing with this Charlotte Temple Magic Cream. I will try a smaller size. If I like it, I will order a big one. Then something else from uh, Ch Charlotte Timble, it's Matte Revolution Lipstick in Pillow Talk. Do I need to say more? Look at this color. I mean, it's stunning. And I want to try it. Pillow Talk is very popular lipstick, uh, lipstick shade, and I want it in my collection. Also, the number 13 is Charlotte Timble's Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. I want a lip liner too. I want it. It's on my wish list. I'll get it somehow. <laughs> um, so Charlotte Timberley's products are available also in Cool Beauty, so I can already order it from there. And number 14 is IG Co. Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. Can't pronounce the whole word, but that is, spray is actually not available here in Sweden, and it's a little bit harder to get my hands on it. But I wish um, that I somehow can, and I will... Probably travel this year sometime, and I will see if I can get my hands on it when I'm when I go outside Sweden. <laughs> uh, but I'm interested, and also the same thing with this brand, Ijco First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. Also something that I'm very very interested in. Number sixteen is Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation. Now I want to try this guys foundation from Zoeva. I heard very good things about it. I think my sister has it. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. But I heard good things about this foundation and I love Zoeva eyeshadow palettes, uh, eyeshadow quality. I haven't tried many products from Zoeva. I love the brushes and one eyeshadow palette that I've tried so far. Uh, and I'm kind of interested to see how that foundation works. Number seven is Huda Beauty Kayoli Vanilla Perfume. This perfume I had a sample size of. Let me show you. I almost finished it. I always get compliments when I have this perfume. When I'm at work, there is not a single day, not a single day goes by when I wear this perfume that someone doesn't ask. It smells like bakery, it smells vanilla, it smells delicious, like uh, sweet bread, it smells cookies. There is always someone then that loves the smell when I go past them by and I always say it's me. It's me. Love, love this perfume. And I'm going to get the full size. Look, I have so, uh, just a little bit left of it and I'm saving it. I don't want to finish it, but I am going to. I love this smell. It smells so delicious. So good for winter. 18, Hourglass Veal Translucent Setting Powder. Now I know I said I don't like shimmery powders or set powders that has some sheen or shine glitter or luminous but that 
powder is interesting. It's very interesting. I heard people loving it and I've seen people using it. The problem with me is that I'm a very curious person. I love trying out products. I love comparing products. I love powders uh, and love trying powders. I do have powders, a lot of powders that I need to use, but I'm interested to try it. I really want to see what I think about it, how it's going to look on my skin. So I want to try that powder. They also have, I think, on Feel Unique. I think feel unique or look fantastic or cool beauty. I'm not really sure. Sorry, I don't know if you hear my son. He's playing Fortnite with his friends very loud. Sorry for that if you hear him scream. They're playing Fortnite. Season 2, Chapter 2. They love it, so very loud. Okay, where was I? Yes, Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. Now, I love Hourglass products. Love, love, love. Love their products. And I really want to try that setting powder. Planting looks very interesting. The other product I want to try is number 19, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzing Matte Bronzer. Chocolate Soleil. That bronzer. I haven't seen it in real life. We do have it in Sephora. I'm going to get it. Somehow, I'm going to get it because it looks so beautiful. Um, it's not a new product. It's been there for like years now. It's not a new product, but it looks beautiful people say it smells nice and i want it i love bronzers i do have plenty of bronzers it's not like i need more bronzers uh, but i like i said i like trying out new products i love ha having products that are holy grail for other people just try to see if i like it what works for me what not doesn't work for me that bronzer looks very interesting uh, and packaging is so, so stunning looks so nice and uh, travel friendly so i do want it number 20 we're almost done guys we're almost done four more products and we are done number 20 is ace beauty the scarlet dusk eyeshadow palette i love ace beauty or ace beauty can't pronounce the name sorry guys i love the eyeshadow quality i have their paradise collection all four palettes now i didn't try the colorful one i still have it i have all of them they are stunning they are so easy to work with the purple shades are beautiful but i want that one too i like it now waiting for it to be a to be available on beauty bay because when i ordered the palettes from Ace Beauty's website, the shipping, taxes, all other costs around the shipping. It was almost almost the same price as the collection itself. So it costed me a lot to get them here to Sweden. So I hope it will be released on Beauty Bay soon because uh, the other collections are. There are some products from uh, that brand on Beauty Bay. So I really wish and hope Beauty Bay will get them so i can get my hands on them on them i really want it it looks stunning i do have these shades in other palettes but i mean look at it it's beautiful don't you think 21 lunar beauty liquid lipstick in daydream beauty bay it's out of stock on beauty bay i want this lipstick it looks so stunning and the Luna Beauty is a brand that I'm very curious about. I want to try their products. I want to see how they work. Uh, I heard so many good things about the lipsticks. Uh, and I'm kind of curious to try them. Also, something else from uh, Luna Beauty is lip gloss in Dreamy. That lip gloss looks nice. Looks so beautiful. And I want that lip gloss. So, lipstick in Daydream and also lip gloss in Dreamy from Luna Beauty or products that I have on my wish list. Last product that I have on my wish list, number 23, is Becca Anti Fenty Q Under Eye Primer. Um, I don't know where I heard about this product, but I'm curious. And now when I think about it, Under Eye pr Primer sounds maybe unnecessary. But it looks beautiful and I don't know if it's Tati or who talked about it, but I immediately wrote it down on my wish list. I want it. I need it. I don't think I can get it here in Sweden. I forgot if it's available or not. I don't think so. 
but I will research and see if I can get it sound from a website. But I think, guys, I have everything. I need to double check. Do I have everything on my wish list? Just a second. I need to get my get my phone and see if I wrote something else. Just a second. I don't think I added anything else, but I need to check the email that I sent to Valerie uh, with a box swap. Sorry, guys. I've seen that I updated my wish list that I have two more products. Sorry. 24, it's Bite Beauty Daytime Lip Balm. It's a product that I want to have on my wish list that I sent to Valerie. Number 25 is also Bite, uh, Bite Beauty Nighttime Lip Therapy. Now, uh, Bite Beauty is not available here in Sweden. Uh, not many products or no products at all, unfortunately. So I don't know how I'm going to get them if I don't get them in my box. Well, but I'll probably, when I travel, maybe try to get my hands on it from outside Sweden. I don't know. But Bite Beauty is unfortunately still not available here. I hope it will be soon. Uh, I got one lipstick from Bite Beauty from my friend Valerie and I've been loving it. So I like, the, I like it. And then, yes, number 26. Sorry. It was 26. Oh my God. 26 products on my wish list. It's Anna's Beauty Cream Blush. I want Anna's Beauty Cream Blush. Tati is talking about that blush like it's her favorite product in her or in the whole makeup collection she owns. And I want to try it. I'm curious. I'm kind of into the cream blush, especially after trying the... Uh, Natasha Denona. This is... I, unfortunately, I didn't get the... Um, love love uh, collection but this blush it looks dark look up uh, look up in like this but this blush blends so beautifully and it, as it goes a long way it's easy to work with on the powders on top of the powders this is something that woke up my curiosity about cream you can't see this one uh, about cream products cream blushes love natasha denona they are very interesting now i don't have this on my wish list but there are some uh, blushes that i am thinking uh, about getting until the end of the year it's uh, patrick Ta blushes they also look very nice what i like about them that i've seen him talk uh, mentioning is that they are pigmented but not too pigmented so you get a lot of product immediately his blushes are buildable which i really really like so i'm very into and very interested to get those now every day there is always something i want to have on my wish list add to my wish list I buy them. <laughs> I just ordered the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. I just ordered it. Today I was sitting with the phone on all websites. Jeffree Star, Beauty Bay, Beautylish, all of the websites that sell the palette. And I was refreshing, refreshing, refreshing because I wanted to get my hands on that palette. It looks stunning. And I did. Yay! I did. Uh, from Beautylish. So I'm waiting. Beautylish has a little bit longer shipping. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm waiting for it. And then um, I did got other products that wasn't on my wish list. New releases, of course. So there will probably be new releases that I'm interested in and I'm going to get through the year. But I will try to come down with the shopping products that I'm not going to use. And products I don't need. I mean, I don't need blushes. I have blushes, but it doesn't hurt to have more. I don't know. I just... I'm a makeup lover. It's my therapy, therapy, and it's something that calms me down, makes me happy, and I just love it. So that's why I love trying new products. That's why I love experimenting. That's why I love um, reviewing things for you guys. And uh, yeah, that was everything. Please let me know down below what do you have on your wish list? What product do you have on your wish list? What do you want to get your hands on? And let me know down below if there is any products here that you all directly tell me no why that it's not going to work for you. No, don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Please let me know because I'm kind of curious to know about your thoughts and feelings and everything, guys. I love you. Love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. 
and I see you my next video. I love you all. Bye.